The 4th of July, 723, also on your Friday morning. This coming down on Twitter this morning, courtesy of CNN Breaking News. No deaths or serious injuries were reported in North or South Carolina from Hurricane Arthur, which has now been downgraded to a uh, Category 1 hurricane. That was a quote from North Carolina's Governor Pat McCrory this morning. That's a look at one of the beaches there in the Outer Banks in North Carolina. A little bit rough, but looks like a California beach. Just a little bit of surf there. So. The hurricane making his way out. Going to be a nice weekend for the folks there after braving that storm. A little bit north of North Carolina, up in New York. Will today be the day that Joey Chestnut actually goes down? The Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest is set to get underway, and Chestnut, the reigning seven time champion, is ready to defend his title. 13 women and 17 men will compete. This morning on Coney Island in New York, eating as many hot dogs as possible in 10 minutes, Chestnut said he hopes to down, get this. 70 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Now, there is someone from the Central Valley also competing. His name's Pablo Martinez Jr. He lives in Tulare, and he'll be there for the second year in a row. He ate 27 hot dogs last year. Good enough for 10th place. Not too bad. All right, and as we told you yesterday, former Bakersfield Condors head coach Troy Mann is now headed east to Hershey, Pennsylvania. They call it Chocolate Town, and it's a sweet destination for him. So, in his lone season with the Condors, Mann led the team to their first ever ECHL Western Conference Finals appearance where they lost in six games to the Alaska Aces. Now, even though it was just one year, Mann said his time here was good. It was almost an apprenticeship when it came to that because, you know, I was better on the bench in March than I was in October when you're running your own show. So, uh, in retrospect, you know, even though it was tough to leave and, and even uh, return to the ECHL, I, I try to consider it a, a step sideways, not a step backwards, uh, and it, uh, it paid off in the long run. We, of course, had Troy Mann in studio here multiple times throughout the historic season. Don't forget, they started that season 1-10-1. And made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. As Troy just said, this isn't his first go around with the Bears. Man served as an assistant coach in Hershey for four years before coming to the city of Bakersfield. To soccer, where the World Cup continues today, you'll be able to enjoy the 4th of July and watch some football, as they call it. Host team Brazil will take on Colombia while Germany and France renew their rivalry on the pitch. Those games begin right after our broadcast here at 9 this morning, both available on ESPN. And they've been away from their families, bravely serving in Afghanistan for several months. We showed you a homecoming in San Diego, but there was another homecoming in the city of Boston. Bob Ward was there and has that story. At Logan Airport, they waited. Wives, sons, daughters, babies, all waiting for the precious moment when it would finally be over. A nine-month deployment to faraway Afghanistan, wrapped up in time for the 4th of July. An Independence Day to And as you celebrate Independence Day today, you're probably going to want to take in some fireworks as well. Plenty of options for you. Handful of fantastic firework displays planned throughout the city of Bakersfield tonight, starting at 6 p.m. on Friday at the Bright House Amphitheater. They're going to host their third annual fourth at the River Walk. I took a little jog, very short jog, by the way. It was hot yesterday on the bike path. I saw them setting up for the celebration. It's going to feature live music, food, and games for the kids as well. It's also free. And then there'll be fireworks Friday at Sam Lim Ballpark tonight as the Blaze take on Modesto. That game kicks off at 7:45, and there'll be a fireworks show to follow, much like the Dodgers do on Friday nights throughout the regular season. And tomorrow it is the Firecracker 100 at the Kern County Raceway. Come and celebrate a night in NASCAR and fireworks. See you guys out there tonight at the Riverwalk. 7:28 is the time as thousands continue to cross into the country illegally. Lawmakers are trying to take a stand. Up next. Why one governor believes those coming into the U.S. are setting a bad precedent. And a hiker finds himself stuck between a rock and a hard place, literally. We're going to show you how everything ended for this man. But it was a happy ending.